good afternoon uh, today i would like to share with you all another very memorable incident with ramesh ji and this was when we had completed the book the ultimate understanding we were expecting it from the printers and also i was pushing the printers to deliver it by ramesh ji's birthday which was in may it was tough but somehow they managed and uh, we were invited for dinner by ramesh ji me and my mother and uh, susan and clark susan was the editor of the book and clark did all the photography for the book they were from america and uh, so what i decided to do you see in in printing what happens is since this was a large format book art paper hard bound we received a dummy a dummy from the printer where it's made up of the actual final paper to be used but the pages are blank because no printing has happened and the hard bound cover and all that so what i decided to do was i decided to wrap up this empty book which had blank pages and ramesh ji was not expecting it guru ji didn't know that i am going to come with his book on his birthday but he knew it was getting ready so what i did was i took this big carton and right at the base of the carton i put the actual first copy of the printed book the cover to cover above that i put thermocol and confetti and all that and then i put this dummy book which was with empty pages and all wrapped up with a ribbon and all that and then we wrapped up the outer carton and i went with this gift me and my my mother carried a painting of hers which is a one where the guru and disciple merge into each other which is an actual experience that she had and saw what happens when a disciple bows to the feet of the guru so anyway off we went and uh, you know uh, guru ji wondered he thought what is this big gift gautam has got and clark and susan were in on this whole game they knew very well that i had wrapped up this uh, book with empty pages and so then uh, intuitively uh, ramesh ji said uh, oh the book has come the book has come then he opened the box and he found this dummy book first and he opened it quickly he tore the wrapping apart like a child would it was really beautiful to see that innocence tore it apart opened it and then his face showed such disappointment because the pages were blank and i felt so bad at that moment that i had tried to pull a prank on guru ji and you know uh, i anyway we went along with it and i said uh, you know it's still to come but since the final copy didn't come i thought we'll at least gift wrap the dummy for you and he said all right no problem and he kept the carton by his rocking chair and i just waited and watched clark and susan were wondering should we tell him that the actual copy is at the base none of us said a word but <laughs> as the next 5 10 minutes went on he kept nudging the box with his foot and he said this box box doesn't feel empty there's something in it and promptly he dived into the box again and found the copy at the base and opened it and it was there the ultimate understanding fully printed fresh from the printer and it was such a delight for me it was like watching a child who was 83 years old and uh, you know it is these moments of sheer simplicity being in the moment youthfulness one could say exuberance it was so alive and we had such fun that evening and he was thrilled because he had always wanted a grand production of one book and he had told me that this is the book the ultimate understanding that i want in this format and i think we printed 1000 or 2000 copies i'm not sure i like a limited edition which sold out pretty fast and thereafter we didn't print this big edition but it was a very moving and enjoyable evening on his birthday and i feel birthdays are of special significance because 
even masters have written about it in different languages of course like for example the mother of pondicherry says that 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 is when there is an opening for the soul to reach the divine and tap into its life plan something like that you know of course now these words are not used in uh, ramesh ji's teaching but birthdays in any case are nice to reflect i guess on one's spiritual journey and what has transpired and so on i found that on all my birthdays since i met guru ji i went and visited him for his blessings on each and every birthday i can't recall if i missed even one and also on his birthday whichever day it fell on because i used to work monday to saturday but i would go from home for the birthday party at his house which was like a big satsang where cold coffee was served and he would wear a nice colored kurta instead of the white one so i would go from work uh, meet him take his blessings like everyone else and then go uh, to work birthdays guru purnima was the other special day i made it a point to visit him on each and every guru purnima and my birthday so these were very special days for us and uh, i think it kind of deepened my bond with him on my birthdays of course i didn't go in the morning during the satsang because mornings were busy at work so i would meet him around tea time in the evening and spend about half an hour with him and then come back home so friends i just wanted to share with you this incident anecdote because it's very special to me never will i forget it and it really brings back memories of another day thank you and god bless